Hello everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Uh, Chris and I are happy that you have decided to join us today. Listen in. I would like to give the time to Chris to talk about his Amen conference that he attended last week and share with us what he took from the conference that can help our viewers uh, learn something. Yeah, uh, thank you. So the Amen Conference, wow, energy. Um, let's think of it as an individual. So let's let's talk about us and who we are. Let's reflect on hmm. us as people first. So okay. us as people, we generally have different masks that we may portray on certain times of the day. So think about it. When you go to work, hmm. you're a different individual and you act different than when you go to school. Um, then maybe when you're with your family, you're a different person than you are maybe with your wife or husband or significant other. Hmm. This conference, you get to be your authentic self. Um, just the vibe and the energy of conference. Uh, every and, and I'm I'm blessed to be part of the board of Amend. Uh, so I am part of the planning committee that puts on this this extraordinary, extraordinary, energizing, rejuvenating conference that assists men of color being successful. It's just a reminder of, of why you need to get an education, right. why you need to uh, make a platform for yourself, professionalism, uh, college fairs, great speakers. We had a speaker, his name was Chris Emden. I want you to Google him, really good guy. He's, he's known as the hip hop professor. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of him, but he he makes he has like lyrics. The the one of the most equitable syllabus, uh, like a hip hop syllabus. Mm. It's like reading the lyrics from a Kendrick Lamar song. <laughs> nice. Dude, what dude is fire? One of the best presenters that we ever had. Okay. Um, but along with that, there are again, there's the great speaker portion. But the goal of all of this is to remind students. Um, to continue to be their authentic self. Okay. Okay. It's very important that you know you you may want to change depending on where you're at. Like you know, shaking hands right. when you're at a job interview. Um, I come from the generation where you dress up. You know, right. I, I I remember my first interview at Wendy's. I had a three piece <laughs> on three because right. that's just that's just right. who I was or who I am. But it it gives you those skills, and then with that, it's a two day conference so okay. a lot of students um they spend a night there uh they're we're there normally from wednesday wait, wait, wait hold all up. the way up to friday they spend the night there they spend the night so how do yeah so they, the students go out they yeah yeah so so students are transported they're transported from their schools and that's i'm happy you brought this up because yeah. these are students that are coming students faculty administrators and staff that are coming throughout the state the state of california wow. Okay. We had a record-breaking number of 1,350 people. Wow. Huge. Yeah, that's a lot. Huge. And um, for me, this is, it's great in a sense because um, a lot of the students, we had the blessing to be able to bring them to Ghana. So we took them oh, to Africa. Cool. Okay. Um, okay. We had uh, quite a few students who did that. And then we also, for the first time this year, opened up Africa and Ghana for travel for faculty, staff, and administrators. Beautiful. So we had a huge, huge educational summit out there last summer. I um, was blessed to have my baby girl, so I wasn't able to attend. Okay. But September 2024, okay. we will be going back. 2024. 2024, okay. yes, we will be going back to the motherland. Uh, our, our advisor here for the Amen student charter we have here on campus you all if you want more information I want you to go to the Emoja homeroom I want you to talk to Dr. Corey Timberlake I want you to ask him how you could become part of the student charter okay. so I want you out there I want you to be exposed okay. I want you to get on that airplane right. a lot of our students haven't even been on an airplane before so if I'm interested yeah who's paying for it uh, so, good question. So, a lot of the times, 99.9% .9 of the times, the school paid for everything. Okay. The school paid for everything. You get a free trip to Ghana. Ghana. And the school is paying for it. That includes your hotel. That includes your flight. Includes the food there. 
It includes excursions. Um, just exposure. Beautiful. Very much. Just exposure. Yes. Right? Going yes. to another another place and you learn and ask questions from even people in those areas. But I, I want to ask now that I, you're talking about mm -hmm. it. It's good for the, the students going there and receiving this information. Right. But I want to bring it back. Bring it back. To Hi, where Ron. as... Talk to me. Chris, what did mm -hmm. you take from it? Because the students took something from it. Right. But how did, as adults, as us, how, how, what did you take from that to learn for yourself? What did you learn? Great question. So it's, it's, a, it's always a reminder for me. My goal is always to mentor students, to be a great representation for students, to let them see someone um, who has degrees but could still wear you know, a hoodie, could right. still have some Travis yeah. Scott's on his feet. Right. Um, but me being a board member of a men, I have the opportunity to work with students year round. Nice. And we don't get paid for the work that we do. Being it, it, um, uh, a men organization, you could look up the website a2mend.org, mm -hmm. um, and it gives you a very great description on what the amen organization is about. But yeah. but answering your question, Hyrule, I get this opportunity to work with students um, more or less once a month. We have what's called retreats. Okay. And we're engaging students in community service opportunities. Okay. Yeah. Um, we do food drives. We pass out clothing. We just did this in January, um, passing out clothing to homeless um, in San Francisco, wow. up north. So you as a student, and, and when you become part of the AMEN student charter, you get the opportunity to not only give back, which looks good when you're transferring, yeah, by the way. Definitely. It looks really definitely good looks when good. you're transferring. Yeah. Um, but just more than that, you get to enjoy and you're exposed to a lot more things that, it, it, again, there was no AMEN, there was no engagement centers when I was growing yeah. up. I didn't get, yeah. do, you remember, no. do you remember anything? There was nothing, yeah, the, the, it could have been there. Correct. But I don't know if it was. Yeah, I don't. Even if, like you said, even if there was, we were not exposed to it. Right. Because even to this day, when I tell people about the programs, EOPS, Umoja, La Casa, like, what is that? Mm -hmm. I'm like, we're in 2023. Yeah. And we're still having that discussion. Well, what do you mean by that? So kind of transitioning into what you took from the conference. Mm -hmm. I think we can always have this conversation that I, can, I kind of want to have with you about the do's and don'ts about college, man. We're about, what, two, three weeks in school. Um, what kind of uh, advice we can give to our viewers, mm -hmm. you know, maybe discuss about the do's and don'ts and your input of the do's, man. So what do you think about the do's of college, what they should be doing? So so the so one of the do's and um, the, the, the biggest do I want to talk to students about, let, let's first talk about keeping up with your syllabi. <laughs> keeping right. up with your syllabus. Right. And let me dive into that a little bit okay. more. When I say keeping up with your syllabus, it's not receiving the syllabus from your professor and sticking it in your backpack and right. keeping it pushing. <laughs> right. No, it's not looking at your syllabus, opening it up right. and going straight. And this is what I okay. used to do. I'm guilty of this. I'm guilty. Um, one of the things that I used to do is I would open up the syllabus, I would go straight to the back, and I would see what assignments are due. And that's how I would judge the class, if I right. wanted to stay or not. Stay which, which is absolute, it, it's, it's dumb. It yeah. was a stupid thing because, generally speaking, you're not getting that, that you're not giving yourself a chance. Correct. And especially if this is a class that you need. I had, I had a friend, real good friend, he's still in community college, okay. he's... he's in his 30s, he's still okay. in community college. He was there since I was going there in my late, early 20s. But every single time he would open up his syllabus, he would see um, it, there was a stand-up presentation and he would drop the class. Wow. Okay. He was that much afraid, instead of giving it a chance. So right. when I tell you keeping up with your syllabus, it's reading the small lingo. It's reading your um, SLOs, your student learning outcomes. Right. It's no, it, it, uh, the syllabus is a contract mm -hmm. between you and yes. the professor. Yes, it is. So it allows you to see exactly what the expectations are because a lot of things, one thing that I would miss, Hyro, is I would miss how important participation is. 
Hence, I would only want to show up to class when I thought something was important. But I missed that small, small, little font, 12-point font that said participation is 40%. Yes, yes. So what, the, what does that mean? If participation is 40%, you could do all your work and get a D. Right, right. No, so keep, so what do you, I mean, what do you agree, what with, are you my, thinking? My thing with the syllabus is we get too comfortable sometimes, yeah. you know, we're like, oh, okay, this is what the teacher wants me to learn. I get it. This is what the teacher wants you to learn, but get, be, be a step ahead, right? So I look at the syllabus mm -hmm. as where I can be a month ahead of everyone as opposed to being the only one looking at it. You can always look at the syllabus and go, okay, this is got to do next two, three weeks so right. that I'm preparing. Right. So the importance of the syllabus and you know Chris is right. That little you know participation that's a, that's a that gets you gets you at that A, gets you at that B, and participation means you know asking questions, you know be part of the class. Yeah. Uh, but do you have another deuce? Uh, our viewers coming oh, yeah. today. Oh yeah, I got I got a lot more for them. <laughs> Are they ready? Are they ready? Are y'all ready? <laughs> Communicate with your instructors and show up to class, please. <laughs> show up to right? class. Okay, this, this is a great transition because you look at your syllabus and we talked about that 12-point font. We talked about the importance yes. of participation yes. activities. There could be journal assignments yeah. that a professor may have you do at right. the beginning of class. Yeah. So I understand there are times where, where you may have to miss class, yeah. but you know when you're missing class too much. Treat it yes. as a job. There if you, you don't show up to your job, yeah. Three days in a row, what happens? They make you get a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, may get yeah. away with the doctor, no, one time. <laughs> yeah. One time. But if you continue yeah. to do that, you are not going to be successful at yeah. your job. You yeah. are not going to be successful in school. It is right. very important to show up to class. And that's a big issue that we have with students. Yes. It's all fun and games. Right. The semester starts. Right. You're happy to be there. That yeah. that motivation. That it, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. You get to tell the family. I'm in yeah. class. I'm a right. college student. I'm this. Right. I'm that. And then when the semester's going and you get used okay. to it, I'm finding this a lot. You're the there's a certain group of students who just don't show up to class. Up to class. And you cannot be successful. You can't come and talk to your professor right. if you were not there. Yeah. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And don't be afraid. Your instructors, I, I promise you, your instructors want to teach. That's why they are teachers, especially at a college level. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to say, yo, teach, can I get a minute after class? Right. You know, right. and if you do miss a class, be responsible. You know, I always, I always compare it with jobs. Mm -hmm. What if your boss tells you, hey, Chris, can't pay you this week, bro, but Ooh. hey, I expect you here on Monday. Ooh. You ain't showing up on Monday. Ooh. That's just the reality. If you're going to show up on Monday and not get paid for last week's work, yeah, you're not yeah, showing up. So we have to take in consideration what we're doing and take the responsibility Fast. of the professors there to teach you. Take advantage. Just take a couple minutes. Trust me. I'm a professor. Uh, Chris is a professor as well. When you guys come and talk to us, it means that you care. So yes. therefore, it's a reflection of how much we care about you by you taking that time. So, right. but yeah, and man, then, and then one of the, the last things I'm going to go because I got, I have a, um, a number four okay. as well that I want to throw on there. Yeah. But, um, that, that's one of the biggest things I get emails from students and the email is, is how can I make up my grade? Right. And then I look at the attendance and I see that a particular student only showed up. Yeah. We had 16 weeks. Most of the time, you're um, going to class two times per week, mm -hmm. potentially one time. If I see you only showed up five times, how am I going to work with you when you haven't been working with that, me? That's tough. That's tough. Is because, that too harsh? Because what about the kid that showed up 16 weeks out yes. of 16 weeks? Yes. So we got to keep that in I'm mind, too. It real. Right? So. Yeah. yeah. What's number four, man? What number four, that? seek tutoring. There's a Ooh. lot of resources yeah. that are available yes. um, that are out there now. Correct. That are out there. Seek tutoring is one of the resources. But we have tutoring that is free of charge here at the RCC campus. You yeah. could uh, do a quick Google search, uh, put in RCC tutoring, and I promise you it'll pop up because yeah. that's how I find yeah. it. Yeah. And it's right here on campus. And then um, I want to say this one, unless you, do you got something to say well, just about with, the seat? Just with, with the tutoring, I like yeah. what you said yeah. about tutoring, knowing where to get it, it's for free, F-R-E-E, -E, 
Come on now. Mm. It's not even. We're not telling you to pay for this. We're Free. just telling you just come and receive the tutoring. And also, there's nothing wrong with tutoring. Don't fall in the mistake that I make when I was in college, man. Man, I don't need a tutor. And then realizing uh -huh. I was getting an F on the class. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you know what the teacher would say? Did you go to tutoring? Yeah. Uh, um, no. Yeah. You know, but those are things that definitely we got to keep in mind. And we'll remind you, believe it or not, if you ever come and talk to us, man, if we're walking on the parking lot and, hey, I'm struggling with the class, I can put $100 on the table saying that we will say, have you gone to tutoring? Yep. Because First it's for question. free. Right. First question. So, and that and that's true. A student will come on our counselor side. Yes, yes. A student will come in and say, I'm failing a class. Should I drop? Yeah. What's the first question you ask? <laughs> you got tutoring. Yeah. And then yeah. the second is, is have you went to office hours? Yeah. And then you know what I get? Office hours. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Correct. What is that? Yeah. Uh, a Mr. Hyrule Daily <laughs> on? What right? is office hours? Yeah. So that's I true. say, bring out your syllabi. Look at in the small 12 point font that we've been talking about this whole time, yeah. it has the office hour stated. Right. Okay, these are these are success tips. Yes. We're dropping gems Definitely. right now. Right. On the ground. Easy. Gems. Easy. Pick them up. <laughs> Answer to the test. Yes. College test. So if you took a college test right now, I guarantee you the top four that we just talked about, it's something that we'll ask you. Mm -hmm. When you're having trouble, where do you go? Tutoring. Yeah. You know, uh, do you look at your syllabus? Mm. You know, those are just basic stuff we're talking Take that. It. We were just talking hey. even before we started recording today. It's these are stuff that we know we just need to learn how to practice them but number five man what, what what's number five you want me to give you a number five yeah, I, think, I think you five want is more dues <laughs> definitely <laughs> okay all right um they need to meet with the counselor uh definitely need to meet with the counselor okay. or and if you don't know how to meet with the counselor you can meet with the, an advisor we're going to have an episode on the difference yes. between those two yes we will but i'm gonna stay on a counselor just because that's what we're talking about right now right. a counselor would um Hyro and I do is it's us uh, creating a path for you, a clear right. cut path. Um, you're not following your friend's path. Even though you and your friend may have the same major, right. there's certain circumstances that may make your classes different yep. than your friends. So regardless of what Johnny, Bobby, Ricky, Timmy right. have told you, I want you to come in. Chat yes. with us. Tell us your yes. goal. What is it yeah. is that you want to do so we could create a clear path for you. And our goal is to get you out yeah. in the shortest amount of time possible. Yes. We're not trying to keep you here. Yes. We're not trying to keep you here. <laughs> Please don't feel offended. Yeah. We want two and a half an hour. Yeah. To be honest. Why? Because there's other components that mm -hmm. are going to influence you that we already know. So right. what I usually tell to my students is tell I'm going to have to be nine steps ahead of you. Mm. Me getting you out at two and a half is being nine steps ahead of you. Why? Because by the time you go to a junior and a senior year at an institution, you want to make sure your financial aid will still be there. Right. See, do you right. guys even know that? Right. That your financial aid has a limit, okay? Ooh. So the purpose of the counselor is the whole the whole shebang, right? Bars. From where it did your mom and dad go to Bars. school? Did you do you have a job? How Bars. many hours? Stop lying to yourself that you're going to do 40 hours of work, 40 hours of intensive work, and then go do your history. Mm. Yeah. But this is why we're here as counselors to say, hey, we got we to gotta create this path for you, make it easy for you. Uh, Pablo, throw that gym on the ground real quick. <laughs> throw throw mm. a gym. Mm. Boom. <laughs> it's bouncing. Boom. So even I tell students all the time is when they say, well, college ain't for me. And I say, you got to start changing your words, man. How do you have to learn how college works for you, I had to learn that. Mm -hmm. Why do I need to get ready for college? No, how college is going to work for me. Mm -hmm. So these are the do's that we really want you guys to understand that Chris was talking about you guys today. And then I'm throwing the don'ts here, man. These are the, the stuff that you want to stay away from. Okay. So number one, don't wait till the last minute to do things. Come Ooh, on now. You've probably been hearing that from that. when we were kids. Yes. You, you put things at the last minute. Don't do that, especially in the college system, right, where teachers have given you a syllabus, teachers have given you a time mm -hmm. to meet with them, and you're still not getting through stuff. So don't do things at the last minute, okay? Uh, number two, you know, uh, don't skip class unless it's an emergency. You 
Cannot. We we touch <laughs> base on that. What's an emergency? Ooh. What would be considered an emergency? Ooh, an emergency. Yeah. There are quite a few emergencies that could stick with you. But one thing that just comes out off my head is um, like a family emergency, right. a fa- uh, something that that you, you just you must attend to if you're taking care of a loved one. Okay. If you're um, you know, if you, if you know, kids, all of that is expected. But but some of the stuff when we talk about uh, kids and everything, we have resources right. here that will assist you with that. But plan ahead. Okay. So you're planning ahead, knowing right. that you you registered. Let's just say for a Tuesday class, a right. Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Right. 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 So before you register, you you have months to register for that class. So I'm just hoping. Obviously, yeah. things happen. I have three yes. kids. Gotcha. I have three kids. Yeah. I get it. But plan ahead just mm-hmm. for your success. So let's say you have an emergency. Yeah. I had an emergency. Okay. Yo, man, I, I was supposed to be in class. Yeah. Um, we're both in the same class. Mm-hmm. Come on now. If you can't make it, let's just play right now for a moment. Hey, we're taking geography together. I hit you up. Yo, Chris, uh, my kid got sick, man. I, I got to bounce. Can you take notes for me? Communication. Okay. What a lot of you guys don't do is you just go and and miss class and expect the teacher to call you and say, hey, you missed this, you missed that. So let's just keep in mind what an an emergency really is. Not, hey, emergency, um, I'm trying to think, I I don't have enough shaving, so I'm not gonna go to class. Yeah, or emergency, you know what, I had a um, a barber shop, you know, my barber, (laughs) that's the only time he could take me. Otherwise, I gotta wait till Friday. Wait till Friday. Yeah. you. you, (laughs) <laughs> you wait till Friday. You might get a discount if you wait till Friday. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but but that's the thing. It, just knowing what an emergency is. And Hyrule, Hyrule talked about ideas, you know, reaching out to friends to be yeah. able to talk and take notes. But contacting your professor yes. and, and not making contacting your professor a habit. Again, think yeah. of it at being successful is equivalent to you at your job. Right. Okay. Right. Um, like we've that. we've all may have lost jobs before. We yeah. all may have excelled at mm-hmm. jobs before. But what are the two things that were different? Uh, maybe you know when I was at um, I used to work at a particular movie theater, and I remember I called my I caught myself watching a movie on the clock. <laughs> hey, guess what? It was a stupid decision. I was a kid, <laughs> and I had to pay yeah. the piper. Yeah. You know? But yeah. I learned from that. Yeah. And I applied that to my life. Like, man, I really like that movie theater job. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so I, oh, so I was good. My next job was at a cell phone. I was a yeah. cell phone sales guy, yeah. and I excelled at that because I remember yeah. how I sat back yeah. and watched the movie on the clock. <laughs> and you know, when the flashlight guy yeah. is coming up the aisle, yeah. he wasn't expecting to see yeah. a particular right. movie theater guy right. sitting in the seat. But anyway, but yes. Going back to the point, I was, you know, I'm getting off script and everything. It's all but, good. But going back to yeah. the point, what were the habits that made you successful? Yeah. Well, Sticking even, with that. Well, even that, you know, sometimes we mix up emergencies. But just keep in mind what a real emergency could be. And if you do have one, don't be afraid of reaching out to your instructor. Uh, number three, get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. You know what? I'll do that next week. I'll do that on Wednesday. I'll do it on Saturday, Sunday. Don't do that, okay? Mm. Number four, allow, don't allow distractions. Mm. Please, I always tell people, you got to think about those things that are distracting you, are they paying it for you at the end, right? So I always say family is important. Trust me, it is. But at the end of the day, they can be a distraction too mm. where they need to have boundaries, have boundaries for yourself. Like, hey, you know, Mondays and Wednesdays, I got to go to class. Yeah. You know, hey, yeah. Saturdays, I got a Saturday class. I can't go to that quinceanera. Mm-hmm. I can't go to that wedding. Sorry, guys. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll ship out that gift. You know, because you have limits. Once again, you have limit on time, but also you don't have distractions. And then number five for me, man, a don't is uh, make other things a priority over education, which once again is time. I go yeah. back to time. Some people tell me, well, how do I fix that? How can I incorporate a schedule in my mind? I tell students all the time, when I was going to college, man, mm-hmm. I gave people schedules. Like mm-hmm. I gave them my schedule. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, don't call me. Hey, don't I like page that. me. I like don't that. Page don't page me. Um, <laughs> they don't know what a like, pager hey, man, is. What's a pager? What's a pa- Google it. <laughs> Google it. Look it up. It, trust me. It's, 
It's kind of cool though. Uh-huh. Um, but I used to tell people all the time, that's something that I need to keep in mind that my time is precious. Okay. No one, I cannot go and print out time. I just can't. Yeah. So you got to keep that in mind, you know? Uh, so just real quick, you know, which of those, those do's and don'ts that you struggle with the most in college, man? Um, time management. Okay. Um, the, the one that you just hit, actually, being able to separate my personal life from my school life, meaning, uh, you know, I, w- I wouldn't want to go out and have fun and party and stuff like that, knowing that I have a, a test uh, the next day. Right. So I didn't get that aspect until uh, probably the end of, of my community college. But I was able to grab it, and then when I transferred, right. it, it I was just a different, different right. beast, right. different beast there. I think if you can get two out of the do's, yeah, and then you pick two of the don'ts. By the time you get a Cal State or a UC or even a job, forget that a job. These are things you got to start training yourself with. Okay, so I want you to keep that in mind. Um, you know, it's it's important for us that you know you take this moment to hear what we got to say. Uh, and I would like to thank you for listening to thank our podcast today. For real. Uh, stay safe until next time. And like and subscribe to get notified for What are you waiting episode. for? Please. Like and subscribe, please. please. Enjoy this time. And please don't forget, you can always email us your please. questions, your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, I just want to have a good time, a good week, you know, where we can share what our experiences are here at the college. So Mm -hmm. don't forget, we're here because we care about your education and we care about you as a young man or just a man general that you may go through some stuff that we're here for you guys, okay? All right, so have a wonderful week, weekend. Uh, Enjoy, be safe. See you guys soon. (laughs)